We have a list of some of the best rappers, and I'm going to be ranking them on this list. As you can see right here, I have Goat, Legend, Good, Mid, Bad, and Never Listen To. I'm going to put all of these artists right here on screen into the tiers that I think they belong in. And yeah, let's get started. First off, we have Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's definitely interesting because obviously he has an amazing discography with the Carter series. Some of the best mixtapes of all time. Definitely influenced like the younger generation of rappers with especially the name Lil. Everything from the way they talk to the way they dress, Lil Wayne had a big influence. But looking past the influence, his voice, his voice gets in the way for me personally. We had a discussion in the comments a couple days ago about Lil Wayne's voice, and maybe I'll change my mind with time, but I'm gonna put him into good. Obviously, the first three Carters by Lil Wayne have aged very well, but I'd be interested to check back on Lil Wayne maybe 10 years from now and see how much of an impact he's still making and see how his music holds up. But yeah, Lil Wayne goes into good. Next up, we have 50 Cent. 50 Cent came into the scene in the early 2000s-ish with Get Rich or Die Tryin' and then The Massacre. I definitely think Get Rich or Die Tryin' was the better album between those two. Those were his two, like, first albums that dropped back-to-back. -back. But after those two albums, you definitely see a dip in quality and even his second album dipped in quality compared to the first one obviously with a debut album as good as get rich or die trying it's very hard to top it he gets accused all the time of being a one album wonder i don't personally agree with that but his first album was definitely his best and i don't think he's lived up to that hype ever since then but that's not to say he hasn't put out good music i think if you put his whole persona into one category that's his albums his features his internet trolling his beefs like all of 50 cent i would say he's good i wouldn't quite put him into legend Which sounds weird to say because he has one of the best albums of all time like i I said a second ago but i think if you look at his career overall as a whole i'm gonna put him into good next up we have j cole a member of the big three along with drake and kendrick lamar technically debuted with friday night lights but his first official studio album was 2014 forest hills drive i actually have a poster of it right there and i think he's grown amazingly as an artist he has for your eyes only kod the song 1985 which is known as like a mumble rap diss and yeah overall some great concept albums and songs i'm gonna put him into legend i know it's very early on but i think i could put him above lil wayne and above 50 Cent, even though 50 Cent has more of that gangster personality and Lil Wayne has better punchlines. I think J. Cole's the better artist. Then we got Andre 3000 right here, member of Outkast. Honestly, I never paid too much attention to Andre 3000 and Outkast as a whole until recently. What really caught my attention was his verse on Equimini. And Andre 3000's verse is insane. I'm gonna put the lyrics on screen right now because I can't play the song with copyright issues. But that whole verse, he's flowing with like the craziest rhyme scheme. Most of the entire sentences rhyme together. The syllables all just match up perfectly. And that got my attention to listen to more Andre 3000. And yeah, definitely underrated when you compare him to some of the other artists that get a lot of love for rapping like Kanye West. Andre 3000 is a way better rapper than Kanye West. So yeah, with that in mind, I'm going to put him also into Legend. Not quite a GOAT yet. Not quite a GOAT because his solo catalog isn't too large. Like I said, he worked with Outkast. And if he could drop a solo album where he's just rhyming like crazy, got all those rhyme schemes, that crazy wordplay, he could be a GOAT. Then we got Biggie, the Notorious B.I.G. I'm going to put him in a GOAT. I'm going to put multiple people into GOAT, by the way, just because I think there's different people that are the greatest of all time at different attributes in rap. But I'm going to assume everyone here has listened to Ready to Die and Life After Death. Two amazing concept albums. The songwriting is amazing. Everything from the content matter to the wordplay is just amazing on both albums. It's hard to say one is greater than the other. But yeah, I gotta put him in a go along with Tupac. I'm gonna explain both of them right here for a second. The impact they made on rap, West Coast and East Coast, was just amazing. Like, I wasn't even born when it was going on, but I know the beef between them. I know how they pioneered rap, and I can go back and listen to their albums and get something from them. If you're younger, maybe watching this channel and you haven't heard their discographies, definitely go listen to them because I promise you, you will get something from it. Yeah, the impact from Biggie and Tupac is the greatest impact I've ever seen from rappers at all. And it's hard for me who wasn't born then to say one made a bigger impact than the other. However, I do like Biggie's songwriting more. I just think he has better flows and rhyme schemes, although I know Tupac talks about more serious things in his songs. So yeah, I personally like Biggie above Tupac, but I can see it going either way. Moving on, we have DMX. Rest in peace, DMX passed away a couple years ago. I'm gonna put him into good, and that's just because I don't see too much versatility from DMX. When I look at the other artists on here, like Biggie, Pac, J. Cole, Andre 3000, they have versatility in like R&B and rap concept and punchline slash wordplay. However, with DMX, I haven't really heard that. If you have any songs I should listen to that would change my mind on that, definitely let me know because I want to get into DMX more. However, at the moment, I'm going to put him into good. Then we have Drake. Drake is the most streamed rapper of all time. And I know numbers aren't everything, especially in art as a whole, but I'm going to put him into good just for that. I think with a lot of these artists, you can say they have a classic, basically an album that has made a huge impact. With Drake, some people argue nothing was the same or take care, but I think it's harder to make the argument for Drake having a classic than any of the other artists on here. And for that reason, I think it kind of counteracts with his stream so i'm gonna put him into good then we have eminem if you've watched this channel you know i listen to eminem a lot if you look behind me i like eminem i think if this was a battle on who had the best 
double entendres or the best flows or rhyme schemes i'd have to go with eminem as the very top however that's not what this is based on eminem went on a roll with the slim shady lp marshall mathers lp and then the eminem show however with encore and then relapse the average person started to like eminem a little bit less now yes if you're a big fan of eminem i understand you like those albums however those albums are honestly just harder to defend than some of the other albums that these legends have but then you get up to the newer eminem with recovery music to be murdered by marshall mathers lp2 and it becomes clear again that he's one of the best songwriters of all time if not the best songwriter of all time so i'm gonna put eminem into goat as well however his discography is not perfect he has some of the greatest songs of all time and he also has some of the worst if you look at puke my first single Rain Man, all those were off Encore, but those definitely take a hit to his quality of his career. But I do think if you've given Eminem a chance and you've listened to all of his music, you understand why I put him in GOAT. Then we have Ice Cube, member of NWA, dropped some classic songs. However, when I compare him to the other people on this list, I don't think he lives up to them as far as artistry goes. I'm gonna put him into mid, but remember, these are legends. I think he's a mid-tier legend. I don't think he's at the top of the legends, and I don't think he's bad. But if you were to compare him to like a Biggie, Andre 3000, or Eminem, he's not winning. Then we got Jay-Z. I personally don't like Jay-Z, but I can respect what he's done for the New York rap scene. But he's still gonna go into good. I mean, like I said, you look at what he's done. You look at, like, the blueprint, 444. Like, he has some quality work, and I gotta respect that. So I'm gonna put Jay-Z in good. Then we have Kanye West. Now, remember, this is rappers. This is not artists. This is not producers. Rappers. And I'm gonna put Kanye as a bad rapper. Remember, I'm still calling him a legend, but I think rapping-wise, he's pretty bad. Now, yes, he has those first few albums that were amazing, but if you really dive into them, rapping-wise, lyrical-wise, he's not doing anything crazy. And I think especially if you look at his more recent work, it's definitely taken a hit to his career. Yeah, I think producer-wise, he's amazing. One of the best producers of all time, potentially top five. He's changed music, but rapping-wise not the best then we have lauren hill i think anyone that's heard miseducation of lauren hill would understand i'm gonna put her into legend i love that fusion of rnb and rap i mean she goes over some real topics none of the rappers on this list have gone over everything that lauren hill talked about and touched on that album but yeah i'm putting her as a legend i'm putting her above dmx above lil wayne above jay-z she made that impact ll cool j i have defended ll cool j with my life in the comment section okay but if I go back and listen to LL Cool J, I'm gonna put him in a mid. Now the sound to a lot of his music, like radio, has stood the test of time in my opinion. I hear a lot of people talking about how it sounds old. Yes, it does sound old, but I still think it sounds great. But I think it's safe to say, you put Jay-Z in a battle against LL Cool J, Jay-Z is winning. You put LL Cool J in a battle against Kanye West, LL Cool J could probably win. Then we got Nas, Nas is a go. I don't know if I need to say any more. Illmatic, Stillmatic, It Was Written, The Magic Series. It's hard to deny what he did for that East Coast New York rap. I mean, the beat to New York State of Mind is recognizable from a mile away. I have him above Jay-Z. He destroyed him with Ether. I think Nas is a GOAT. Then we have Nicki Minaj. Definitely did not make as big of an impact as Lauren Hill. The past few years, her music and sound has gone down in quality. I'm gonna put her into bad as well, right next to Kanye. I think if she really tried with her songwriting, she could do better. But I just don't really understand, like, what happened with Nicki Minaj and her songwriting. So yeah, she's going into bad. Then we have Rakim. Honestly, Rakim does not get the love he deserves. Like, he can rap. And for that, I'm gonna put him into good. Then we have Snoop Dogg. Interesting for sure, because honestly, he doesn't rap very well. He has an iconic voice, iconic flow. What he's saying, his lyrics, aren't anything too crazy, to be honest with you. But just like 50 Cent, he's loved by the media. He's made a big impact on the West Coast rap, along with Dr. Dre and, and Ice Cube. But when I compare him to Ice Cube, I compare him to the other West Coast rappers, I'm gonna put him in good. I'm gonna put him above Ice Cube. I think his early work was definitely better, like a lot of people on this list. Then we got Soulja Boy. One hit wonder, bad. If you can name five Soldier Boy songs, I'd be very surprised. Type them in the comments. Five Soldier Boy songs, top of your head. Lastly, we have Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is a goat. Kendrick Lamar is like the modern day Tupac, but I think Tupac had a bigger impact, and Kendrick Lamar has way better lyrics. I think if you compare any of Tupac's albums, any album that you think is his best album, to something like To Pimp a Butterfly or Good Kid Mad City, I think Kendrick Lamar has a good chance of winning that debate, but it's also very obvious the impact that Tupac made on Kendrick. Like, if Tupac didn't exist, Kendrick Lamar wouldn't either, so it's hard to ignore that while giving it a ranking. I think they both belong on the same playing field, but yeah, that's what I have to say on Kendrick Lamar. I think Kendrick could destroy Tupac in a rap battle, but it's also not all about rap battles, so you kind of got to pick and choose where you want to rank everyone. But yeah, this is my list. What's controversial, you might not like the Kanye West in bad. You might not like Lil Wayne in good below J. Cole. You might not like Lauren Hill above Snoop Dogg above Jay-Z. This isn't a favorite favorites list this is who i think is the best as far as artistry goes as far as writing goes as far as rapping goes so yeah let me know what you would change and if you want to see more rap videos click right up here i have a playlist full of a couple rap videos if you want me to keep making more of them let me know down below make sure to subscribe if you like it drop a comment if you're new around here thanks for watching peace out